We're in Jupiter, Florida this morning, the home of professional golf. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a little behind the scenes look into what a Misuno video shoot looks like. We're gonna have two Misuno ambassadors taking on a former world number one and everyone's favorite, Chris Forshell. So we're gonna head over to Hunter's Run Country Club, unbelievable golf course, to get this video started. Let's go. All right, Chris. All right. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good right now. Swing feels pretty decent. Yeah? A little, little humid, but it's all right. What do you think? Are these kids are gonna be nervous today, or? I think so. You got I, in the bag? I feel like they should be a little bit nervous. I got a good partner on my side, so. You do have a pretty good partner, eh? So yeah. I, gotta, I gotta say, I'm the D player to, uh, but I think I got the A player. So I'm pretty, feeling pretty good about that, so. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> all right, let me get a little pre-round interview here. How are you feeling, man? I feel good. You do? Uh, I, yeah, I feel good. I got a large coffee in the system right now. It's, it's <laughs> dialing me in. It's kicking it into third gear, which is good. I think Grant and I are confident today. Uh, we've done a lot of 2v2s, and we have a winning record. Uh, I will say, going against former world number one is going to be it's going to be a big challenge in 2023 Ryder Cup captain. Uh, it's a little intimidating, but we're excited. So, is this the first time you have played a match against a former world number one? Uh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very first time. I don't really know what to expect. I, obviously, he's going to be striping it today. He's going to be making a lot of putts and hitting a lot of good chips. So, I mean, we just got to stay mentally dialed, play our own game, uh, and and go as low as we can. So, we believe in you guys. Come on now. How do you feel? I feel Are you good. nervous? Do you know who you're going to play against today? I, I do know. I, I just looked. I just looked nice. when he was the Ryder Cup captain. It was actually. It's this year. Yeah, so. it's this year. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. A little I'm excited bit. to meet him though. Former <laughs> world number one. Former world number one. Did yes. three putt in a whole year. Yeah. Won You're both money nervous. titles. You're <laughs> making me nervous. <laughs> Sticking close, right? I'm nervous for Chris. I don't want the boys are sizing yeah. up yeah. Chris here now. I'd be more intimidated to be on those teams. I don't know if yeah. Chris has ever got, been in this much pressure That's before. True. That's true. Perfect time. <laughs> uh oh, the man himself has showed up. Hey, there nice you go. You. Grant. Hey, Grant. Nice to meet you. What's going on? Good stuff. How are you doing? Good. 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 How are you? Good. How's your game? Are we partners? We're partners. <laughs> How are your shoulders? <laughs> How long have you guys been doing this whole YouTube thing? I've been doing it since 2016. 2016. So. Almost seven years now. And there's a few other of you guys, right? Yeah, yeah six we, of us. Six of us total. Uh, a lot more behind the scenes that do the content, like you know, Ryder, Jake, a lot of other guys do the filming, editing, and stuff like that, which is yeah, arguably the most now. important part. So, all right, Luke. How are you feeling? Yeah. Have you been more nervous, nervous before, you know? maybe? <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot of YouTubers going to be tuning in. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of cameras, eh? There's a lot of cameras. <laughs> It's been a while since I've had this many. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the boys over there look a little bit intimidated, but they said they're ready to go. So you're gonna have a match today. What do we, well, yeah, what's the match? Yeah, what is the match? Are we, it's an 18 hole match, right? Straight up? Are we doing that? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you can call the turns. You, you generally do like a better match play, don't you? Yeah, sort of no, scramble match play. No, normally we do scramble because it speeds it up uh, for the filming purposes. What are you thinking, Cookie? You know this guy more than most. Mm -hmm. You think he's ready to go? It looks money. It looks, it looks like it's money. Going to be a short day for the good, good guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks I love like it. A, looks like an early lunch. Early lunch. All right, let's go. All right, guys, back with another 2v2 18 hole match. Today we are switching it up. We are playing match play. The person we're going up against is former world number one, 2023 Ryder Cup captain. Uh, an absolute legend of the game of golf. Then his teammate today is Chris Voschel. We're doing an 18-hole 2v2 match. I feel like you guys probably already know who it is to yep. introduce them yep. to the channel. Luke Donald, hey. thanks for coming on the channel. Appreciate it, Chris. Oh, What's going so, on? so the boys are gonna play a scramble match play format today, and uh, you can see that Grant and Garrett have their own videographer. So I'm gonna stay a little bit in the background and let them record every single shot. And if you want to see every shot from the match, head over to GM Golf YouTube channel. The video will be on there. So let's see what the guys can do. This is the social media genius from Misuno here. 
What is your predictions? What are we thinking? Ooh, man. We're going to see some long drives today. I know that, but former number one versus these two guys, they play a lot. And you know. don't even want to mention Walsh in this? Or? <laughs> I, th I think I'm going to go with That's the dark. I think most people are going to say Luke, but I, I think I'm going to go with, with the good, good boys. I think oh, they're wow. Gonna, okay. I think they're going to make more birdies and, and take them down. All right. You against the world, yeah? Today. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Part four. Here we go. Well. Grant, he stepped up. Oh, yeah. My gosh, dude, that's so good. good. Not yeah, a beauty. Speed. Yep. You got the speed. Yeah, that's fine. That's some speed. Good. Nice, Chris. <laughs> I can let, let He's it rip feeling it. good yeah. about that Luke, one. Luke Donald stuff. Little laugh. I got part. They're in the fairway. Went out. <laughs> Chris, if nothing else, took your first tee shot, huh? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I'm yeah. not shut out. So I'm not shut a, that's out. A, that's a good start for here. Yeah. For me. And then Luke, you, stuff um, it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know where my ball went. <laughs> Someone's got him. It's somewhere right over here. Can we grab it? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Ooh. Get your yeah, partner right. thinking a little bit. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think. Oh. Alright, the boys reading the first putt here. This is to go one up. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Aggressive! And I pull your quarter at that. All right, Chris, you blew it 10 feet by here, so you're gonna have to hit it with good speed here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chris, give yeah. us a little what's in the back here. What's, he, what's our boy playing, first of all? Luke's got a nice setup here. Copper wedges, 60 and 54. He's always been pretty traditional with his wedge lofts. Yeah. And actually all of his lofts as well. He doesn't have a gap wedge? Uh, or is it somewhere else? Where, no, no, Luke's always, because I think I want to say his, his 60 is bent a little strong, right? Is it 60, 54? All yeah. the way to a pitching wedge? So so big gap, so big gaps on those, those sides, but yeah. he can take so much on and off really easily with his. Hold on, hold on. So, so you're saying that it's normal not to have a gap wedge on tour? Yeah, well, most guys don't. Really? So they go from 54 straight to wedge? Yeah, if you think of the increments, they go yeah. from 46 to maybe 52 or 3. Yeah. And then they go to 58. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think the better the short game. Yeah. The less wedges you have, right? The less wedges yeah. you have, yeah. So yeah, because I normally see, and a lot of amateurs bag is like low wedge, sandwich, gap wedge, and pitching wedge. Yeah, but yeah. on the pro side now. Okay, well, that's interesting. Yeah, not so much. It's like Keith Mitchell. Keith Mitchell is a 46, and then he is like, um, he's got like a 54. Yeah, and then 60 or? And then a 60. Okay. Yeah. He, you know, he's got such good hands. He can control those distances really nice with those. He's got the two two ones and the and the scoring irons. Then when he gets to his longest irons, he's got a two two three and even a two two five. So jumping up in forgiveness and height as you get into stronger lofted. And then he's got the STZ two twenty driver. I and mean, he's Luke's driving it great today. He's been he's been driving it really well. Lately. Yeah. So really nice setup he's got here. What are you playing? At? Oh, so I've got T twenty two wedges also. I got a fifty uh, three fifty eight. I got two two five iron, so a little bit more juice in these. Yeah. And then yeah. I got some STZ uh, driver three uh, five wood three wood and STZ driver also. Actually, got the new one hidden here in the under Ooh. here. So a little sneak peek. We'll see that later. Exactly. <laughs> Bucket. I don't know what Chris's putt looked like. Chris's looked like, just hope it goes up in the air. That was horrible. <laughs> Cookie's not a fan of Chris putting stroke. Atta boy, David. 
Yeah, they get in there. <laughs> All right, Crawford, what are the boys playing? All I right. see a blue driver there, by the way. Yeah, let's start off with Grant's bag. We hooked him up with the limited edition blue STZ 220. How cool is that? We sold 500 of these in the US. Blue crown, blue carbon composite. That's sick. And then we'll work it down to the hybrid. He's got the CLK in a 19 degree. Yep. And then he recently added the, the Mizuno Pro Fly High in a two iron, and he freaking rips this thing. Yeah, he hits uh, it like. He's almost like stingers. Yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> He's really liking this. And then his most recent edition, we got the limited edition Mizuno Pro 221s in the blue finish. Got GH stamped on there for Grand Horvat. Wow. He's rocking the four through pitch right now. Yep. And then for wedges, he's got the T22 and the denim copper. Got him a 5007, 5610, and 6010. Beautiful. And then Garrett over here, he's got a, a pretty similar setup, really. He has just the standard STZ 220, not the blue, but just the standard black. Yep. He's had this for a while. Uh, and then three wood, he goes to the STZ. 15 degree. Sick. And then hybrid, he's got the same hybrid that Grant has. He's got the CLK and a 19. And that's the club he hold out for Albatross with, right? That's right. Yeah, he's yeah. just really, really good. That's cool. Get a lot of wear, but I have to get him a new one here soon. <laughs> he might not want to change that one. So, he, so <laughs> Gary, he used to have a, a Mizuno Pro Fly High. He doesn't now. He's got the four and five iron in the Mizuno Pro 223. Got GG stamped on there for good, good. And then he is also going with the set of the blue 221s. He's got he kind of threw them all in the bag here. So, you know, not a USGA official check here. He's got <laughs> more than 14 clubs in here, but he does have all three through pitch in the bag. Limited edition 221 blue. And he also has blue wedges, yeah? And then we got the new blue ion finish in the T22s. He's just released. We got him in this. We got a 50, 5408, and then he's got a 58 in here, I believe. Yeah, 5808. Then we got the boys the new tour, sta uh, tour stand bags. Got Garrett's with the GM Golf logo embroidered there. Grant's with his logo, Grant Horvat Golf. Those are sick. These are the two colors that come in, black, staff. There you go. We'll get you some. Dude, oh, Chris. Wow. There you go. Both birdied one of the hardest holes on the court. All right. All right. There we Thank go. You. Oh, but have you ever seen a golf course with a soda machine after nine? Not just a water cooler, a soda machine. A mix of mixing Coke and Sprite. There you go. <laughs> What's it like competing? in the Ryder Cup and now being a captain 2023 uh, and also I heard you were undefeated. You competed four times, correct? And you were undefeated. Four Ryder Cups, yeah, we won 104, so that obviously helps yeah. with the, you know, yeah. how you feel about them. But uh, the amazing thing about the Ryder Cup is you know, there's so much pressure when you play foursomes or turn a shot that um, you think it would, the scoring would be bad. And often the scoring is better than four, in four balls. Right. It's amazing the, the focus it gives you, uh, elevates your game um, under the most pressure. Is but that the most nervous you get? In the most record? nervous I've ever been in yeah. yeah. first tee shot. My I bet with the one was awful too. With the crowd <laughs> energy and everything about. too, it's just so nerve wracking, I bet. Yeah, it is. And you just have to rely on... You can't feel your arms. You, know, <laughs> you can't really feel much. So <laughs> just like, just relying noodles. that you've done enough work on your game that you're going to hit good shots. <laughs> One, one particular Ryder Cup, maybe even narrow it down to one particular moment, one particular swing, who you were playing with? Probably Medina, just because of the comeback and playing against Tiger Saturday, you know, down awesome. Medina, which is Chicago, where I grew up and, and, well, went to college and played a lot of golf there. So, had a lot of family, a lot of friends, a lot of support, even though it was a away Ryder Cup for me. But just to play against Tiger, and he was making a charge and coming back at us. And, 10-4, I was playing with Sergio and he stuffed it into four feet and I managed to stuff it into about two and a half feet on top of him, so <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> I don't have much over Tiger in my career, but <laughs> my Ryder Cup record's not bad. All right, so the boys just finished the front nine here. They're both four under par, which it's not the greatest in a scramble, but they're hitting it really well, just not really making the putt, so we're hoping for a big back nine here from both teams. It's a really good match, though, so. 
We'll see, whoever makes the putt on the back nine is definitely gonna walk away with this. Clutch. There he is. Nice putt, bud. Well done. This might be one of the highlights of your career, can't it be? Oh, this is awesome. Really? Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love doing this. So playing with these guys, it's, it's really cool. Getting to play with both these kids. Yeah. And Luke. I mean, I mean, what, what better day in the office? These kids basketball? are gonna play with some big players in the yeah. next in the next couple of years. But this might be this might be it for you, man. I hope it's not <laughs> it. <laughs> That's depressing. This might be yeah, it. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, oh, it looks like grab so hard. Nice. Yeah, love that. Come in there. While Chris and the boys are putting down there, I'm gonna have a look at this new driver here. I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to show it, but this right here is the new SDZ. Cortex Chambler. Chamber. Chambler. 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 Cortex. Cortex Chambler. Yeah. yeah. What do you say? Chambler? Chamber. Shame. Chamber. Chamber. Shame. Chamber. 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 You got it. Cortex Chamber. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. Cortex. You did it. You, you chamber. Can, you, you can, chamber. I got it now. There you go. There you go. Okay. Cortic like, Chamber. Like, like Harry Potter, Chamber yeah, of Chamber, Secrets. Chamber, yeah, yeah. Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, yeah, chamber, yeah. Okay, so the Gore-Tec Chamber. There you got it. I got it eventually. Uh, that's definitely the new technology. I'm guessing it's the first time I see it. Uh, same kind of classic, nice look at setup, at address. Very clean. It's no distraction on top of the club head. Uh, other than that, it's just a better looking STZ. I'm going to have to hit it to know exactly what the difference is, but... So right now, a little sneak peek. Garrett, how are you feeling, man? Two up. Must be feeling pretty good, huh? Yeah, feeling good. I think Grant and I have been saying it since the beginning. We're feeling like we're playing well. We're striking it well today. Um, and it's good to see see a couple putts fall. And I, th I think we're going to finish strong here. But I don't know. We felt dialed all day. It's just the minimal misses on the putts on the front nine. That is thunder. Oh, yeah. We're good. We might not be able to finish the match. Oops. And I'm also gonna say, like, I've been watching a bunch of your videos. This is the first time I actually see you guys play. Yeah. You're a lot better than I thought it was. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say, I mean, it looks good, boys. Thank Get you. after it. Good ball. Nice. Yeah, beautiful look. Really nice, pretty. Boy. No! Oh my gosh, you early called him, man. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, no you didn't! <laughs> so here's the update, after 15 holes, a massive storm is about to come in and uh, Garrett and uh, Grant are two up. So, they better win this hole or maybe it's a washout. Luke and Chris might be wishing for some bad weather here, just to get home without, being <laughs> without a loss. Yes, that's great. All right. <laughs> I almost, I almost that actually. There's no way. Oh my gosh! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Great shot. Try to. Grant here to win the match. He's got a chance. Got a chance. Ooh. Try. Let's read it. Shot. Yeah, well done. This is it, guys. The boys actually have this putt to win on hole 17. Yes, sir. Come on, dude. Well done. Well done. Good job, team. Yeah. Thanks, Fred. Thanks, there you Fred. go. Nice job. Cookie. I'm not sure who we were rooting for. I thought this was going to be an early lunch, huh? 
What happened? Uh, well, huh? we, did, we did. We had an early yeah. lunch, a box lunch. <laughs> My guy sure, was I'm right. Sure I predicted the boys there you go. Bring it yeah, home. they did. Yeah. All right, boys. So that's a little upset, isn't it? I think. I think so. Yeah. We ended up. We ended up playing pretty solid. Or at least for us, we we went out there and struck it well. So. But you guys yeah. were very confident, I must say, because <laughs> I would say I would have been a little bit more intimidated. But <laughs> I, we had our. I would say we had our A game today. We yeah, did. We, we made, did play well. We made that's, some good pots. Yeah. Hit a lot of good tee shots. We don't always do that, so that was a good day. Yeah, yeah. you need the best day to, sure to take tell them down. Zach, uh, how good you, you guys were in in, uh, in the scramble format. I know you don't have that in the Ryder Cup, but. You know, <laughs> Jackal, he's looking for some young talent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, 